Hi, this is Julie Harland, and I'm your math gal. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you could search for any of my videos organized by topic. We're going to define percent increase and percent decrease in this video. It's common to state increases or decreases in terms of percent. For example, if I say Mary's salary increased by $200 a month, it's hard to tell if that's a significant raise or not. It would depend on what her original salary was, right? So for instance, if this is like a high school student, I imagine this would be a pretty big raise, but if this was a CEO of a company, it probably isn't a big raise. So look at this example. So we say her salary increased by $200 per month. So let's just talk about this. Would you consider this, you know, a significant raise if her original monthly salary was a thousand dollars, well, that's pretty good. Going from a thousand to a thousand two hundred per month. Okay, so this might be like a high school student, right, or a college student, somebody who isn't making a lot of money yet necessarily. Now, if somebody is usually making two thousand dollars and they get a two hundred dollars raise, that's pretty good as well. But it's not a you know, a huge bonus, but it is actually a 10% raise. So some of you know a little about percent, you could probably figure that out. So for part A, this is, you know, that's a really good raise. And in fact, it happens to be a 20% raise. And I'm going to explain how we get that 20% in a minute. And for the 2000, someone making $2,000 a month, it's still a pretty good raise, but it, it's not as high. This ends up being a 10% raise from her original salary. And let's say somebody making $10,000 a month, this is somebody who's pretty well established, 200 bucks a month is not a huge difference. So this is, you know, not significant, right? Not a big raise. You could just sort of tell that. So it would be more interesting if we could say like, well, what percent raise is that? Like, did you get a 10% raise? Did you get a 50% raise, et cetera? So the way it works is this. The percent increase is defined to be the amount of the increase over the original amount, right? So your original amount, that would be your original salary in this case. Okay, and the amount of increase is the raise in this case, right? How much more money you're making per month. So let's look back at this. So how would we get the percent increase? So the percent increase here, all right, to get that, you take how much money, how much increase she makes. So she increased her salary by $200 and her original salary was a thousand dollars and then we would write that as a percent so you could reduce this first if you'd like and if you reduce this you can you know divide the top and bottom by a hundred that's the easy way to do it and then you have two tenths which is not quite reduced but I'm gonna leave it that way because remember to change it to a percent you just multiply by a hundred percent which gives us, well, the 10 goes into 100 10 times. This is going to be my 20% that we'd sort of already figured out, okay? So you could write that as one-fifth times 100%. You, you could cancel all at once. In any case, we're going to get 20%. All right, let's do the percent increase here. I'm just going to, in this salary, well, again, her raise was $200, so it went up $200. Her original um, salary was $2,000, and then we're going to times it by 100%. So I'm just going to go ahead and go times it by 100%. We'll do all of our canceling kind of easily here. So when I get the, um, I'm going to cancel out the 100 with those two zeros right there. Okay, that makes that kind of easy because that's dividing top and bottom by 100. And now I have 200 over 20. I could divide top and bottom by 10, so I get 20 over 2. And so I'm going to get 10%, which we had figured out. All right, what about 
This other one, I had figured that one out, right? So what do we do? We take the original, I'm sorry, percent increase. We take how much of a raise she got, $200, divided by 10,000. And I got to multiply by 100% because when I say percent increase, what I mean is I want to write my answer as a percent. So let's see, I can cancel out my divide and top by 100, that cancels out those two zeros, and now I have 200 divided by 100. All right, see what's left here? Percent. 200 over 100 percent. Again, you can cancel, divide top and bottom by 100 again, you're going to get 2 percent. So this person making $10,000 got a 2 percent raise, whereas the person making $1,000 a month got a 20 percent raise. Now that also should make sense to you because this first person was making $1,000 a month. The third person here is making 10 times as much, right? Okay, and notice the, the raise, the percent increase is, you know, just the opposite. This person already making a lot of money only got a 2% raise, right? Where the person making very little money got 10 times that 20% raise. So that's kind of interesting to notice how that works. So percent increase, we take how much it increased, divide by our original amount, and then we write that as a percent. And remember to, uh, to change something to a percent, you multiply by 100 percent. We also have percent decreases. That would be like, um, let's say when you go to a store and something's on sale, you know, the price of the item decreases in value. And, but notice it looks almost the same, the formula here. Percent increase, it's the amount of the increase over the original amount. The percent decrease is the amount of decrease over the original amount. So it doesn't matter whether something goes up in price or cost or a raise or let's say you're getting demoted, you're losing money. You either, something's either going up or down. There's a certain amount it goes up or a certain amount it goes down. That's what goes in the numerator. And then the original amount goes in the denominator. And then remember, to change to a percent, you want to multiply by 100 percent. So after you set up your fraction, whatever it is, you could reduce it first and then multiply by 100 percent. You could use a calculator, you know, all sorts of different ways to do this. But you're trying to write your answer in terms of a percent. That's a better way of comparing things. Here's a percent decrease problem. A company has 500 employees and lays off 75 employees, what is the percent decrease? All right, so it decreased by how many employees? That would be the 75. So I'm going to write P for percent increase. All right, that's just my variable, P, or you could write it out in Word, percent increase. But this reminds me I want to write my answer in terms of a percent. So the numerator is how many it went up or down. In this case, it's a decrease and it went they went down by 75 employees. Now the original amount of employees they had was the 500. That goes in the denominator. So we've got the amount it went up or down in the numerator, right? Decrease in this case was 75, decreased by 75 employees and the original amount in the denominator. And we want to write this as a percent. So we could reduce this first and then write it as a percent or I'm just going to go ahead and go times 100 percent right now. So let's see, we can cancel some stuff here. I like to cancel out, divide top and bottom by 100, so that cancels that with these two zeros right here. So I've got 75 divided by 5 percent, and so that gives me 15 percent. So they reduced the number of employees by 15 percent. All right, let's look at this. A $25 purse is on sale for $20. What is the percent decrease? Now, usually people don't say that, what's the percent decrease. They might say, well, what percent off is it? So you'll see this in different ways. It's a sale, right? So we need to, again, we are looking for the percent because I'm asking for the percent. Okay, but we need to know the amount it went up or down. Well, if it was $25 originally, and it's on sale for $20, that is the amount it went up or down. So the $5 goes in the numerator.
You don't want to put the 20 in the numerator. That's not how much it went down. It only went down by $5. And what was the original amount of the purse? So we want to look at not what the new price is, but the original amount. Well, it was a $25 purse. So we have 5 divided by 25. And again, you can reduce that first and then multiply by 100%, or you can go times a 100% first, which I'm going to do because 25 goes into 100 four times. So this would be a 20% answer, right? The percent decrease is 20%. So like that's like saying this was a 20% off sale. Okay, it didn't ask for that in words. Usually it'll say 20% off and you could figure that out. So we'll do some more problems on the next video on finding the percent or decrease or increase. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you can view all of my videos which are organized by topic.